Okay, so here's a video showing my uh, Mad Torx crawler next to my Sumo crawler. Just to show you the difference in size. That's the difference between a 124th and a 18th. I'm going to show you a few of the things that I've done to that uh, Mad Torx. <clears throat> Show all my other videos. I made this plastic covers for the sides just to keep it from getting caught on debris like wood and whatever. Then I also swapped to an outcry dual motor ESC. It's got its own BEC. And I got a Fly Sky um, receiver, six channel, just in case you want to put winches and all that kind of stuff. I have a winch that I'm going to put on it, but I haven't put it on yet. Eh, you'll see it later. I'm using right now a uh, 50 turn fireball model motors. They're pretty strong for what it is. Uh, using hot racing uh, aluminum air shocks. These are the 120 millimeter shocks. That you'll find, I guess eBay is the cheapest you'll find them, but 120 millimeters. Don't go with the 90, it's way too small. As I showed you on the other video, I swapped the mounting place for the servo to the side by making this plate. <clears throat> it's made out of aluminum. What I did is I used the original holes to come for the servo mount. Kind of cut them down as much as I could so that, that, so that that plate will sit real low. See those posts right there? Cut those down as much as I could. Enough that I could still have enough room to get the bolt to hold on to some thread. I used the uh, Revo rod in, I cut it, and I used uh, the rod part of it because it's 4mm so it's wider than the bolt itself so you can actually go through with the bolt and just use it as a spacer to attach that plate to the axle. These rod ends, they're aluminum rod ends, I can get them at a ESRC, um, RC four wheel drive I guess where I got them from. Just any website you can get them. And this right here, that is a sleeve, that yellow part. It's a bronze sleeve that I made out of just some bronze tubing. You can get at Home Depot. Goes around the axle because this um, crawler doesn't use E joints, it uses, uh, what you call it, dog bones. That little rod at the end of the dog bones will have a tendency to come off because you're going back and forth, back and forth, and it loosens it. So you want to put this in there, that sleeve, so that it keeps that little rod in there and doesn't come off. Because it will destroy your plastic parts. Uh, I am running regular weights that they use to balance your tires with on top of the servo to kind of balance the weight that the battery puts in there and because I don't like to run weights on my tires a lot of people will do that I tried it it does make it run better but because you have such a small axle it puts a lot of strain on them and kind of loosens them sometimes and that uh, 17 millimeter adapter that blue little guy in there comes loose and I've tried to tighten it as much as I can and I've done everything in my power to keep that little set screw on that blue adapter in there from coming off but uh, when you have weight on those tires it finds a way to come loose um, here's another view of that sleeve that I put on the axle to keep that duck bone rod in there 
very simple. Just cut a piece, put it in there. Uh, you might want to put some super glue to hold it in. It doesn't really need it. It goes tight in there. Don't remember the size that I used, but kind of eyeball it. You'll get it. Got the aluminum mounts for the servo itself, itself, and then the aluminum plates in front. It just makes it a lot more stable. <coughs> just so it doesn't come left and right when you're turning. Now, as every other RC that I've shown before, I guess I'll um, try to run those MG946 servos in there. They're pretty strong and they're super cheap, so you can't really go wrong with those. This is the rear steer. Um, I did not have to change the wiring on the servo motor itself because I have the GT3B and I've modded it to where I could do the four wheel steering and uh, so I get to reverse that servo and I'm able to run that bar on the bottom. I'll show you the four wheel steering later. Um, this is just a piece of plastic that I also used to make a skid plate on the bottom. It's got those rods from the factory but as everybody that has one of these knows those rods they don't really do much for you other than get you caught in rocks and, ro and wood and everything. You just get caught everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> articulation pretty much Once you got it all planted down, you pretty much get close to 90 degrees articulation on this guy. <coughs> if I have weight on those back tires so that I can get those springs inside the shocks to compress, you get the whole 90 degrees, but you get the idea. That's how much articulation you'll get out of one of these mat torques when you tweak with it a little bit and you change the rod positions and oh yeah, I moved that one all the way up. But uh not a whole lot going into this crawler. Not a whole lot of money spent. If you wanted to you could get a bunch of aluminum upgrades, but I haven't needed this so far. Pretty sure soon I will. This these guys they break a lot they can't really hold that much weight but other than that I mean it's a pretty fun crawler let me see if I can get that battery in there real quick <coughs> Got that four wheel steering. So I'll be done through my Fly Sky GT3B. It's been modded. Uh, there's a whole bunch of videos out there. I have one where it shows how to get the settings on it. But this little guy is pretty good. That's everything you need to do. And it's also been modded, of course, like everybody else does with LiPo. So you can run. 
any kind of lipo in there as long as it's like a 2S or a 3S. Uh, I got a set to run on 2S just because I got more 2S batteries, but that's the job. Let's see if I can show you. Some 3S that uh, Outcry is able to go all the way up to 4S. So if you wanted more speed, you could do that. I don't recommend it because it's not really good for crawling, but you could if you wanted. To. Going slow. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here because I want to show you guys how it crawls. Uh, I'll do a real quick test since I'm in the house. I'll just have it crawl up the stairs, which is what everybody wants to do with these one apes. So you guys can see. So I'll talk to you. I'll see you in a bit.